Hi, I'm Karen Chappie, and this is my first day here with me today is Skip Bayless. Hi, Skip Bayless here. I just want everybody to know we've all seen the the new recent events going on, the Hurricane Sandy. We just want you to donate anything you can to 1-800-Hurricane-Sandy or go to our website, hurricanesandy.com.net.org. And Stephen A. Smith, how's everybody feeling tonight? The subject for today is the CBA, the Chinese Basketball Association. Better or worse than the NBA skit? Stephen A., what's your take? Well, Stephen, you of all people know, I like the NBA. All its elite basketball players, coaches, and the teams. I mean, goodness, it's amazing. But you can't just count out the CBA and all its great players and its history. History, history. I bet the CBA's history is nowhere near as amazing as the NBA's, with championship teams and legendary coaches. Steven, as always, that's where you're wrong. The CBA is a great, great place to play basketball. Started in 1995. The CBA features 17 teams, and its most elite team is the Boy E Rockets, with eight championships. Ooh, valid argument, Skip. The big bad CBA has been around for 18 years. I have grandchildren older than that. The NBA has been around for 67 years, and we almost have doubled the amount of teams. And one of the teams is Canadian. Canadian. You know what? You know what, Stephen? The NBA was so, oh, so precious. Oh, so precious. Why have there been oh so many of our precious basketball players from our great country in the NBA playing in the CBA? Players including J.R. Smith, who's on a rolling team, the New York Knicks, along with, um, who else is on the list? Stephen Marbury, Kenyon Martin, Tracy McGrady, Giller Aarons. The list, the list goes on. The list goes on. That's because the CBA offers so much money to those guys. It's also for publicity. Speaking of great players, the talents in the NBA, are you kidding me? With guys like LeBron James, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant, are you kidding me, Skip? It's just, your CBA is garbage. These players are very talented and popular. Some of them even have their own shoes. The, the NBA greats. What about Yao? What about Yao? Yao Ming! Goodness gracious, Yao Ming. First round draft pick in 2002 NBA draft. He's an eight-time All-Star. He has 9,000 career points and 5,000 rebounds. In the precious NBA, he is 13. He is, uh, I don't even know what that was. He was a phenomenon player and one of the greatest, most talented centers in the NBA has in its entire history, in my opinion. You know what, Steven? You know what? Have you even seen? Have you seen with your own two eyes? The windows to your soul? A CBA basketball game event lately. Of course not. Neither has any of China. The NBA has over 16 million viewers, while the CBA has about 5 million viewers. And with the NBA being the most popular league sport in China, in China, the National Basketball Association in America is a leading sport in China. It averages 558,100 Chinese viewers a game. But that's just a small percent of their population. It doesn't matter. And did you know that China spends money to have the NBA come host it for the Chinese viewers to see? Ticks can cost over $200. $200. It's courtside cheap for me. I don't know about you. That's great and all, but the CBA produces very little stars and have, and have only had a one above average player other than Yao Ming, and his name is Yi Jilian. But above average players, that's very minimal. The NBA has very, way more amazing talents. Here are some of the clips from the most recent All-Star game. Wow, that is amazing. Still, CBA only has 32 game seasons with All-Star events. That's laughable because the NBA has over 70 games in a regular season, not including the All-Star game. 
you know what, Stephen? You're right, okay? We can just say the CBA obviously is inferior to the NBA.